In this session, we're going to look at a few techniques we can use to close up holes in a surface model. On my screen, I've got a datum surface. This datum surface falls beneath a large intersection design. To make things a little bit easier to see, I'm going to split the screen. Let me open up the leftmost in canvas menu here. I'll go to viewport configuration list and I'll choose two vertical. This gives us a nice side by side view of our geometry. I will then zoom in on the intersection area using this view on the right. I will then change the visual style. I'll do that by opening up the rightmost in canvas menu and I'll choose shaded. This gives us a nice shaded view of the triangulation. Let me click back in this view on the left and I'll zoom in such that we have a similar view. If we look in the view on the right, you can see that I have some holes in my surface model. Let's make some corrections. I'm going to click in the view on the left and we'll start with this small hole first. So I'll center my view on that area. I'll click in the right and we'll focus on that same location. As you can see, this hole represents a single triangle. One way we can close up a hole like this is by simply adding a triangulation point and then taking it away. Let's take a look. I'm going to start by selecting the surface, then I'll open the Edit Surface menu and I'll come down and choose Add Point. I will then add the point to the midpoint of one of these edges. Let me bring up my Object Snap menu and I'll choose Midpoint. I'll grab the midpoint of this edge. As you can see, it's going to create the point at the existing elevation at that location, which is fine. Let me press Enter and then I'll press Escape to get out of the command. So I added that triangulation point, which didn't really change the surface at all. It kept the existing elevation. It did, however, close up the hole. Now, this point really isn't necessary. Let's take it away. To remove the point, I need to make the surface points visible. So I need to change the style. Let me select the surface. I'll right click and I'll come down to Edit Surface Style. And then here on the Display tab, momentarily I'm going to turn the points on and I'll click OK. Now that the points are visible, they are selectable such that I can make changes. I'm going to select my surface. I'll open the Edit Surface menu and I'll choose Delete Point this time. I'll select that point object and I'll press Enter to take it away. I'll press Escape when finished. So the unnecessary point is gone. The hole remains closed. At this point, I may need to tweak my triangulation just a little. I'm going to select the surface. We'll go to Edit Surface and I will add a line. Maybe we'll add a line from this endpoint to an endpoint up here. That looks pretty good. Let me press Escape. You know, as I look at this, I don't think we really need this point as well. Let's take this one out. I'll select the surface, Edit Surface, Delete Point. I'll select this one and press Enter. I'll press Escape and we'll back up. I now have much better triangulation around this edge and I no longer have the hole. Let's put things back the way they were. I'm going to select the surface. I'll right click and choose Edit Surface Style. I'll turn the points component back off and then I'll click OK. Let's pan the drawing over. I'll do that in the left and right view. In this case, I've got a large hole. This hole was created when I introduced a grading object and surface to handle some of my transitional daylighting. I then pasted that grading surface into my overall surface, which created this hole. One way we can close up a large hole like this is by tracing the outer edge, and then I could add that to the surface as a show boundary. Let's try that. I'm going to click back in this view on the left. Rather than tracing the outside edge of this hole, I'm just going to extract it. I'll do that by selecting the surface. And then from the contextual ribbon, I'll open the Extract menu, and I'll choose Extract Objects. I don't want to extract triangles. I do want to extract the border, but not all of them. Let me open the menu, and I'll choose Select from Drawing. I will then click this green block, and then I will select this interior edge that I'd like to extract, and I'll press Enter. When I'm finished, I'll click OK, and I'll press Escape to get out of the command. As you can see, I have created essentially a copy of this edge. I will now add this geometry to the surface as a show boundary. I'll do that by visiting the Modify tab. I'd like to modify a surface. I'd like to add data to that surface. We'll be adding a boundary. Civil 3D says, which surface do you want to edit? I want to edit this one. It says, okay, you're adding a boundary. What do you want to call it? I'll call this Northwest quad area. The boundary type will be show. I want to show the triangulation in this area and I'll come down and click OK and then I'll select the object that represents my boundary and I'll press enter. As you can see it's now creating triangulation in this area. At this point I could add lines or swap edges to clean this up. One thing I'd like to do if you look right here you can see I've got a grading edge that comes to here and then that grading edge is picked up on the other side. Let's create a break line through here and we'll add that to further influence this triangulation. In this view on the left, let me zoom in. I'm going to go to the Home tab and then I'll open the Feature Line menu and I'll choose Create Feature Line. Feature Line Name, I'm going to call this Northwest Quad Grading Break Line. 
I'll keep the style and I'll click OK. I'd like to start the feature line at the end point of this edge. I'll press Enter to accept the elevation. And I want this to be curved, so I'll come down and choose Arc. And then to select my second point, it's going to be somewhere here in the middle, although my running object snap's getting in the way. Rather than turning it off, I'm going to hold down the F3 key momentarily to disable the running object snaps. I will then pick the second point on my arc. I'll release the control key, and then my running object snaps are turned back on. We'll draw this to the end point of this edge on the other side. I will then press Enter to accept the elevation, and then Enter again to get out of the command. Let's zoom out. So this geometry is drawn from a three-dimensional perspective where it needs to be. Before I add this to the surface as a break line, I would like to add some additional triangulation points to this object. I will do that by selecting the feature line, and then from the Edit Elevation panel, I'll choose Insert Elevation. I'll come down and choose Increment, and then my distance between the points, I'll type 3. I'll press Enter. You can see all of the potential triangulation locations that we have now. Let me press Escape now that I'm finished, and then I'll press Escape again to get out of the command. Now let's add this feature line to our surface as a break line. I'm going to go to the Modify tab again. I want to modify a surface. We'll open the Add Data menu. I want to add a break line. Civil 3D says, which surface do you want to edit? I'll select this one. It says, OK, you're adding a break line. What do you want to call it? I'll call it Northwest Quad Grading Edge. It's going to be a standard break line because it's in 3D. Mid-ordinate distance isn't going to come into play because the segments are going to be so short anyway. I'll choose OK, and then I'll select my break line and press Enter. Let's click in the view over on the right. And I'm going to orbit this around. I'm doing that by holding down the Shift key and the mouse wheel. Let's zoom in. And using that break line, you can see how I am now carrying this edge all the way around. That looks good. I have to admit, you know, when I first saw the triangulation over here, I thought maybe we have to correct that. But if you look at the surface model over here, that's really not too bad. I'm going to leave that as is. There's one thing that I want to fix here. Let me zoom in. This is a datum surface, so we can see how the surface is wrapping around under the curb terrace. And I've got a pyramid here that I don't need. Let me come back over to the same location here on the left. I'm going to hold my Shift key and the mouse wheel to orbit that around. There's the same triangles right there. I'm going to correct this using Swap Edge. I'll select the surface. I'll open the Surface menu and choose Swap Edge. Let's try swapping this one. That looks better. I'll swap this one. There we go. That looks real good. Let me click in this view. I'm still in the command. Let me zoom in. Looks like I have one more triangle edge to swap there. Let me click back in this view and we'll swap this one. There we go. That gives me a nice clean corner in my datum surface. When I'm finished, I'll press escape a couple times to get out of the command. I'll open the in canvas menu here on the right side and we'll change this to single to maximize that view on screen. And from here, we can orbit around and take a look at our revised surface model.